So we're going to check the gap of each spark plug. For this engine, it suggests a gap of 0.05. So here's your little gap reader. Um, 0.05 is right there. So what you do, and you want to be very careful because these are platinum plugs. You want to be super careful. They actually make better gapping tools for platinum plugs uh, that you don't risk the chance of damaging the little puck in there. So you take your spark plug, make sure you don't make any contact with the ceramic here, and you start off where the small spot is. So you put it in the small spot. And then you run it slowly and gently up until you feel resistance. Then when you feel resistance, you check to see where it is. 0.05. So this one's good. Now, if it wasn't good, if you need to make it smaller, you press the this on top of the little L thing here and you push down, you know, to make the gap smaller. And if you want to make it bigger, you use this little thing in the middle and you stick this in like that and you pry it like a can and you make it wider. So that's how you you gap the spark plugs. And in this case, you want it 0.05. So you want to check every single one even if they're pre-gapped you still want to make sure they're gapped correctly because that has a lot to do with the performance of your engine and how well the spark turns into energy by lighting the gas on fire. Gently put it in, turn the dial, and then watch to see where it goes. So I have resistance right there. These plugs are supposed to be 0.05, which is that at the tip of my finger and it's almost at 0.06 so what you do is you take this tool and you go on top of this and you gently push down and then you test it okay so now it's like 0.055 so I have to push down a little bit harder Let's see where it is now okay so I actually went too far so now it's 0.45, so now I use this inside gap. Be careful with the platinum, the puck you could actually see, so I'm not even going to touch the puck. I'm going to just do this, and then you pry it like a can opener, gently, because you could actually open it up a lot. Perfect. 0.5. So that's how you gap a spark plug. You could find the, the gap for your application inside the owner's manual of your boat, of your car, It'll be the engine for the boat, but for the car it'll be in the owner's manual and, um, and it'll tell you the gap for that engine.